dear students so today we are going to talk about again the dth program ts06 unit 21 that's tourism marketing and i'm going to talk about the block six destination marketing topic is going to be regions cities and leisure spots so marketing first of all let's start with marketing tourism marketing is associated with marketing strategies in the field of tourism the location can be anything which has the potential for attracting a tourist who comes to visit a new place so that's a very important aspect and tourism marketing is a term which is used to refer to that business discipline by which visitors are attracted to a particular location which can be a state a city a particular heritage site a tourist destination spot hotel or a convention center uh, tourism marketing trends in 2020 there have been lots and lots of trends in 2020 uh, one of them has been increased increased use of virtual reality so that has been because it has been uh, augmented by the pandemic and because of the pandemic the thing happened that most of the people after february started shifting online to the virtual scenario and in 2020 virtual reality was a very very important aspect and it provides consumers with the wanderlust a chance to experience destinations without leaving their homes so that has been a very very attractive uh, sort of an aspect because of the fact that uh, lots and lots of people lots and lots of tourists lots and lots of customers didn't want to leave their houses uh, because of the pandemic and also there was lockdowns there were border lockdowns international lockdowns 99 percent countries were under lockdown so that was a huge thing because of which uh, everybody was spending lots and lots of time on uh, online another important trend in 2020 has been investment in mobile so 48 percent of smartphone users are comfortable researching booking planning their entire trip on a mobile device so that has been a very important sort of a trend and because of that only what has happened is that uh, the mobile users have grown and the mobile users of the smartphones has grown and they have been comfortably uh, getting information online and because of that tourism marketing a uh, lot of marketing companies have shifted towards tourism marketing uh, on your palm and they have been started using uh, mobiles for marketing well video marketing is also a very important aspect 82% inter tra internet traffic has been generated uh, in 2020 uh, because of live streaming only and live videos have been very very economical, e economical and live streaming has been picking up in 2020 social media social media as customer service that's again a very important aspect and a very important tourism marketing trend social media be it twitter be it uh, facebook be it instagram uh, be it other mediums have been very very prom prominent and they have been prom Prominently being used by various marketers to market their uh, products using social media to solve customer complaints uh, is very is, is you can say 90% or 83% less expensive than a traditional call center so that's again another marketing trend uh, that has been developing in 2020 where lots and lots of complaints have been handled online with vis-a-vis -vis, uh, with the help of uh, uh, internet regional culture Culture region is an in area inhabited by people who have one or more cultural traits in common such as language, religion or system of livelihood. It is an area that is relatively homogeneous with regard to one or more cultural traits. So that's the regional culture that we keep talking about and keep discussing things about. Uh, Regional culture is also the uh, geographer who identifies a former culture region must locate cultural borders because cultures overlap and mix such boundaries are rarely sharp even only a single cultural trait is mapped. So multiculturalism in tourism again a very very important aspect that has been uh, picking up multiculturalism promotes different cultures and specific orientation towards a culturally different population in tourism multiculturalism can only be achieved through multicultural education and promotion promotion of cultural diversity and we have been constantly talking about uh, cultural diversity uh, within india also uh, importance will grow through increasing migration business touristic economic and political growing international ownership and changes in demographic the global trend uh, will be calling for cultural assimilation and local trends will be encouraging diversity differences and uniqueness and calling for self recognition uh, diverse cultural perspectives can inspire creativity and drive innovation uh, greater opportunity for personal uh, and professional growth so these are some of the benefits of multicultural uh, culturalism where we can say that diverse cultural perspective can inspire all this creativity uh, benefit of multiculturalism is that local market knowledge and insight makes businesses more competitive and profitable so that's again a very very important aspect that we keep looking at cultural sensitivity insight and local knowledge means higher uh, quality 
targeted marketing and that in a way helps us in understanding what are the things going on and how things are building up diverse teams are more productive and perform better because if you have people with diverse set of uh, backgrounds if you have uh, people with multicultural backgrounds these set of people actually uh, understand varied sectors of culturalism and various sectors and they are able to provide better uh, what i'll say services to the customers to the tourists and they are able to take care of their tourists in a far more effective and an efficient manner what are the strategies for multicultural marketing again an important topic for you students you should be very very clear about it because tomorrow when you join a dmo once you are working with the dmo your strategies for multicultural marketing are going to be very very useful analyze data pouring in from crm and dmp platforms that's an important aspect so and try to analyze what is the uh, data pouring in from your customer relationship management and destination management platforms and that is a program platform that's going to be very important aspect bolster data insights with third party research and focus groups so involve more third party research and focus groups try to get more data get try to get more information out of that that plan the channel selection and activation calendar carefully so that's an important aspect how do you choose a channel how do you start building up on a channel how you how do you start working on a channel that's going to be a very very important aspect uh, another strategy for multicultural marketing is to ensure diversity and inclusion in decision making process as i have been talking about constantly that inclusivity is the order of the day and diversity helps it grow try to make all the communities try to take all the communities along with you and try to build along with them analyze constantly and relaunch at the ma- right time that's a major strategy for multiculturalism that you have to analyze keep and uh, keep your uh, keep your analysis going on keep your thinking hat on and relaunch at the right moment relaunch your products at the right moment whenever the time is appropriate how to achieve cultural awareness so that's again a very important aspect that we need to talk about and uh, you students should be aware of the first way is to by cultural mapping so you can have cultural mapping you can try to uh, get information regarding various cultures around you try to build up a map of them try to work on cultural mapping those particular things and try to be working on these particular aspects be part as member of an ngo promoting arts and culture so as an as a manager of a dmo if you involve with these ngos if you keep working with them that's a very effective and efficient aspect take part in the cultural awareness activities in the community that is also going to be a very very healthy aspect that is also going to help you to understand and build up things use social media to create cultural awareness again one of those things which i keep harping upon and keep talking about the fact is that use social media to your advantage so that cultural awareness can be increased or can be built up how to again how to uh, further moving forward and as to how to achieve cultural awareness we can talk about we can organize heritage activities like exhibitions tree planting of native trees that's a very very unique sort of a thing organize various heritage activities there would be so many heritage sites around you so take ex- uh, organize some exhibitions around them localized exhibitions around them tree plantings of native trees for example if you have mangoes growing on over there in maharashtra we have lots and lots of mangoes in kashmir we have apples in nagpur we have oranges so start tra- growing native trees where people could uh, c- come to know what is the essence of these particular things seminars and workshops again a very important aspect to achieve cultural awareness where you can organize more and more seminars we can you can organize more and work workshops to see to it well change in classification upon which marketing ideology builds upon the classification of festival types and characteristics by wilson and dol so one of them is indigenous so celebrations that grow f- from and are a partic- of particular culture the event is directed towards the culture at large and controlled by members of that culture uh evolving indigenous growing from the cultural de- uh, culture depicted are monocultural directed and controlled by members of the group and appeal to an audience within the culture in adapting the culture there are there, there may be conscious decision to seek a wider audience or commercialization non community monoculture festivals organized from outside the culture to be represented having no support base in the cultural group represented with no attempt to involve the cultural group either as organizers or as the audience multicultural Uh, again festivals representing cultural material of many cultures with an audience that does not represent any of the represented cultures organizers organizers uh, tend to be electric or academic fans of multicultural uh, materials cultural diversity in tourism marketing 
another aspect is globalization and internationalization are current trends so globalization is what is picking up in a very very a big uh, big manner uh, world is one big family and internationalization are current trends so everybody is looking at international markets trying to get hold of more and more customers from these international markets trying to get hold of these customers trying to see to it that they come over and they visit you it makes people moving work and live with people with diverse backgrounds so that's an important aspect so you can uh, it's it's an easier aspect to live with diverse backgrounds to work with them in hospitality industry great dimension of cultural diversity from staff guests and tourists are observed and that's a very very important aspect so globalization and internationalization helps in so what is cultural diversity in tourism marketing again we talk about the the uh, people must understand the perception of culture and the role of national culture and how it impacts the tourist behavior tourism and hospitality organizations will work in very complex multicultural tourism environment effective promotion ideas for tourism marketing what are the effective promotion ideas for tourism marketing one is showing online banners so that's banner ads have been picking up uh, and these are the one of the first and the foremost uh, methods of uh, marketing which have been picking up and which which have been building up in a very positive manner placing uh, placing ad banners on certain websites where users will be able to see your see the current promotions and offers is a great idea to get more exposure use different sources and sites or, uh, to place banners just like top keywords in your google search like top hotels travel top destinations etc so online banners is a very effective method uh, of getting that uh, promotion uh, using effective uh, you're promoting your ideas uh, second one uh, would be using email newsletters well email newsletters are one of those through which uh, you tra- try to tag your sec- section of people the segment of people who are actually using your product and you try, try to tag with them you try to work with them and try to build up so email newsletters and customer relationship management program is a great strategy for interacting with clients offer the user the option to subscribe to the newsletter in order to regularly receive all uh, all necessary information about current offers applying offline promos okay well business cards are very crucial very very crucial especially for the travel and tourism businesses they are extremely useful and cost effective by sending a colorful postcard with a wonderful landscape of a tourism destination and small message to potential customers so that's one what, what, what you should do you should constantly uh, obviously you have a repository of customers with you and you should co- constantly try to uh, keep interacting with your potential customers also by sending them these postcards by constantly sending them these, these postcards and reminding them that how beautiful your destination is how 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 good your destination is and how much it would be beneficial for them to visit your destination well using tourist promo videos that's a that's a very a new thing uh, which you can use to prom- uh, as for your tourism ma- marketing and the most attractive tourism pro- uh, tourist promo uh, videos are shot around the world and even your handheld devices for example your mobile phones are very 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 important aspects vis-a-vis this is concerned and you can use uh, your mobile phones uh, to shoot these videos to uh, real real like video uh, real life videos of these tourists and it ca- it makes sense to use such promotional videos to inspire people cast this is a great way to appeal to your segment of people establish smart techniques so this is an important aspect that how do you establish smart techniques so whenever you are trying to establish your smart techniques be very very specific your techniques should be specific so that you should know which technique you are using for tourism promotion and marketing and they should be very specific they should be measurable this is an another aspect most of times we apply techniques but they are not measurable we are not able to understand whether those techniques are actually uh, giving the desired results or not whether they are appropriate or not so whatever your techniques that you are using they should be measurable people should be able to understand whether what whether there has been a positive or a negative results of them these uh, these smart techniques should be achievable the third point is achievable now what, what what do i mean by achievable that actually you should be able to uh, implement them practically in the market sometimes what happens is that you uh, use such type of techniques which are actually not achievable and people are not able to actually target those particular types of techniques they should be relevant so relevance of your smart techniques is very important they should be contemporary they should be uh, they should be moving with the time your customer base your target customer segment should be actually be uh, using those t- Uh, you, uh, should be involved with those particular techniques so that they give you the desired results timely using the smart techniques timely is an again a very important aspect and they should be used properly well how do you create a buyer persona 
So buyer persona creation is again a very important aspect that how do you create the, the model of your buyer that who's actually going to be your buyer. So what are the factors that you're looking at? One very important aspect is age. So age, age, demogra uh, age, age characteristics are very important aspect that you try to see to it whether they are teenagers, whether they are middle income, mi uh, middle aged people or older segment of people or youngsters or young, uh, young married couples or how, how do you. So age is a very, very important aspect which uh, helps you to define them income. Income is another thing on which you can try to understand what your buyer's, uh, buyer's uh, category uh, is like. Job title, what sort of jobs they are trying to do, whether they are senior managers, whether they are junior managers, early careers, or they are senior vice presidents, or what, in, in what hierarchy they are working and how they are looking at things. Location. So location is again a very important aspect that from where they have come and from where they are trying to reach and who are these buyers actually going to be interests. So their interests are again a very important aspect and you have to understand what, what, what are their various interests, what are the challenges and what, uh, what are they actually looking at. Needs and wants, other uh, uh, category is your needs and wants and you need to understand what are their needs and wants and how they look at. Goals, goals is an, again a very very important aspect when you're trying to create your uh, buyer persona creation that you need to know what their goals are for visiting a particular destination and how they would look at working to, uh, working towards the, uh, the, that destination. Alternatives of tourism marketing strategies. So that's again a very important aspect. Another very important topic students that you should take care of. Partner with other local businesses. That's an important aspect where you should try to partner with uh, local businesses. You should try to see to it that how you work with local businesses. And whenever your strategies are being built up, whenever your strategies are being worked out, see to it that you involve local businesses vis-a-vis -vis your work is concerned. So we can deliver a great overall experience to visitors by bundling our products. It also saves our customers time instead of researching and comparing different individual items that make up a whole trip. Uh, work with local DMOs. That's uh, I have al always been talking about the fact that PPP public-private partnership is a very important aspect. So work with local DMOs, a tour company that can that uh, that turned into a DMO when, when the founders realized that the destination wasn't being marketed effectively to the world. So that's an important aspect. So you should try to work in sync with your DMO and see to it that the things move in the right perspective. Get on directories and listings. So this is again a very important aspect that we keep talking about. Uh, try to go on your trade directories. Try to be, see to it that you are mentioned on the trade directories. And uh, people often head only towards Google, but uh, Google only. But also see, try to see to it that you head to your trade directories also, and you see to it that uh, your uh, you have pages on social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, and update them regularly with a simple photo or two of your destination that they give out discount codes to the customers to share with their friends. Nothing beats, beats word of mouth marketing. So when a, when a customer markets you and uh, to his or her friends, that's a very, very positive step. And that helps you to grow in a very, very important aspect. Uh, alternative marketing is defined as the use of buzz, word of, uh, word of mouth and lifestyle messages at times when customers are relaxing and enjoying hobbies and events. These programs are developed by creativity and imagination. In alternative marketing, marketers strategize new point of contact uh, for consumers and prepare attention getting exciting messages for contact points. Uh, there are several different methods of alternative marketing like buzz, gorilla, lifestyle, experiential and product placement and brand entertainment. These methods typically operate in pairs or groups. One often does not see one method operating independently. Buzz marketing is also known as word of mouth marketing. So as I already have been talking about, word of mouth marketing has been a very, very essential aspect of marketing your products. And what actually happens because of the word of mouth marketing is that your peer groups get influenced by you and they, it, it has been growing in popularity day in and day out. This particular method stresses consumers spreading information, words from friends, family and co-workers typically have more credibility than the words the company or the spokesperson says. Uh, there are three communicative groups within bus marketing. So we, we, uh, these three community, uh, uh, communicative groups are individuals who truly act like the brand, truly uh, like the brand. So they are the ones who are very, very uh, happy with the brand. They have been using it for over a period of time and they have been, they are satisfied customers and they, are, they like that this brand should grow. Individuals who are sponsored by the brand 
brand ambassadors so they could be some influencers they could be some uh, celebrities they could be people uh, who who hold certain uh, cert certain sort of stature in the market uh, and people look up to them company or agency employees so there are company or agency employees also who will be talking about you and who would be discussing what you have Gorilla marketing method has historically been one of the most successful alternative marketing plans. Gorilla marketing relies heavily on creativity, quality relationships and the willingness to try unique or different approach. This method is a great way uh, to communicate differently with consumers, interact with consumers, impact the spot market, create buzz and build relationships. Uh, in conjunction with social media, guerrilla marketing becomes a powerful marketing weapon and, and, uh, and well as boosts the sales by unconventional methods, for instance, flash mobs, stickers, treasure hunt, messaging over social media, etc. So this is a very important aspect that we, uh, as we already know that this has been, uh, uh, this has been one of those alternative marketing methods which has been growing in a very, very successive manner. Experimental marketing consists of the combination of direct marketing, personal selling and sales promotion. The focus of this method is to engage the brand with the consumer and promote questions and cons uh, conversations. So regularly see to it that the customers come out with questions, they talk about it, they, they have a conversation with you and they start learning from these particular conversations. This tactic is much bigger than just providing free samples. They want to provide a whole new experience through events. Product placement marketing is the inter in intentional placement of a brand or a product in a movie, television show or program. So this is something which is being seen in a big way in these days also that a lot of intentional placement of a brand or a product is being done in various television shows, in various programs, in various movies. Viewers seeing these products in their favorite shows and movies are believed to have increased brand awareness and positive attitude toward the brand. This method is great because of its brand recognition tactics and low cost per viewer. Uh, brands fighting to get consumers attention on their advertisement brand entertainment marketing is again a very very important aspect and very important topic that we need to talk about brands are constantly fighting to get consumers attention on their advertisements uh, brands producing fun brand uh, content to be activated by consumers when, when time is right on device they choose consumers engage through time by uh, awesome transmedia content objectives of the marketing plan it assists in management control and monitoring the implementation of the strategy acts as a roadmap uh, another objective of the marketing plan is informs new participants in the plan of their role and function so everybody is informed of what their role is what their roles are what the functions they are going to perform and how these roles and functions need to be performed uh, they, it help uh, another objective is to obtain resources for implementation so we need resources men money machinery material methods and how to obtain them for implementation that's another objective of the marketing plan to stimulate thinking and make better use of resources so another objective of the marketing plan is to see to it that uh, lo lots and lots of thinking processes are stimulated so that things move in the right perspective and the right manner. So how to improve market intelligence, motivate intermediaries to pass information. So you have to constantly uh, keep providing benefits to the intermediaries to pass information. So you have to constantly see to it that they start working on them. They, the intermediaries are willing to provide information and they pass information further to the, uh, to the seller. Online customer beat feedback. As I have already been talking about that the feedback is a, one of the most important aspects which are required. And online customer feedback is a great thing. So you need to have this particular feedback to see to it that the things go in a proper perspective. Information from outside supplier so that is again a very important aspect that you get proper information from outside suppliers and the your uh, all the stakeholders involved with your working all the suppliers uh, involved with your working provide you information on daily basis and uh, accurate and appropriate information network externally trade shows conferences networking is a very very important aspect to build up your market intelligence so network uh, you have to be going to various uh, trade shows try to go to various trade shows participate in these trade shows try to to meet people and understand that how networking could be done how networking could be built up how these things could be worked up and 
try to develop them. Adapt marketing strategy for COVID-19. Among marketing's greatest challenges is forcing how customer wants, needs, expectations, and purchasing decisions will evolve. We all know that COVID-19 is, uh, is, is a big pandemic and it is still not going anywhere. So we need to work on and start working on uh, revising or revisiting our marketing strategies for COVID-19 and seeing to it that they are implemented in a proper, effective, and efficient manner. Taking the right actions and finding the right message can be a challenging, especially in fast-changing situation. Our COVID-19 situation, pandemic situation is evolving at a very, very fast pace. So we need to understand that how we work up, how we build up. We should follow a four-step action plan to define scenarios, monitor customers and plan for marketing changes. So this is an important aspect that we should keep looking at. Continuing with the strategies for marketing plan during COVID-19, one of the very important strategy that I keep talking about and that you all students should pay attention to is to move your businesses online. So move your business online, try to have as much information online as possible, try to do as much work as possible online so that you get more and more customers online only without moving. Uh, you, can, you can interact with them, you can talk to them. Make use of CRM and email list. Customer relationship management softwares and email lists are very, very important aspect. Try to make full use of them see to it that you have these particular things focus on ppc ads leverage video conferencing video conferencing is one of those tools uh, where you can have lots and lots of meetings with uh, people and there are so many video conferencing tools available online so these most of them are free of cost also so you can make use of those particular tools and do your conferences uh, uh, through online and make uh, use of video conferencing facilities so that you don't have to travel that much promote items for home use so you have to see to it that lots and lots of items that are required for home use should be used prioritize retargeting so you have to see to it that uh, see to it that targets are rebuilt, reworked, and redeveloped over a period of time. Promote gift cards and vouchers. So another strategy for uh, for marketing plan during COVID uh, COVID nineteen is to promote gift cards and vouchers. Use the power of online data. Try to get as much online data as possible, and try to build up your strategies revolving around the online data. So you have to see to it that how it works out. Four step action plan that I was talking about is the step one is engaging in scenario planning. So start, uh, defining theoretically best, worst and moderate scenarios that could play out during the crisis from the perspective of the business customers and critical partners. For example, if the best case uh, business as usual scenario involves ad purchases during an industry trade show, a worst case scenario in which uh, that event is cancelled should identify alternate ways of to reach customers. The second one is listening for changes in customer sentiment and behavior. Setting voice of the customer uh, walk programs to listen for references to COVID-19 or other shifts. Using social listening to monitor customer discussions about health concerns or information uh, needs uh, to be to be relevant to the brand. Monitoring customer care, emails, phone calls and service chats for changes in concerns or sentiments. The third one is anticipating operational impacts. The steps involved include uh, setting realistic expectations about service levels, product launch dates, product availability, evaluating current policies and considering rational changes. For example, uh, we say allowing cancellations or extending uh, payment terms, creating uh, capacity to address customer service volumes. Another thing is training qualified team members in functions with lower volume to help managing demand from customer service uh, channels. Ramping up digital delivery by promoting apps and other mobile tools and services. The fourth step is now the adapting the marketing plan. Event-based uh, event -based programs by developing alternative marketing ideas for physical events. Plan for spring and summer, delivering compelling content providing informative and encouraging content to uh, people looking for uh, looking for support a good time to relaunch or bring out escapist experiments such as virtual reality content that's what we have been talking about so uh, friends i would like to conclude uh, with the fact that since globalization and internationalization are in current trends our main focus should be in cultural awareness and we should strive hard to be at far with other nations in showcasing our culture as it is one of the main drivers of tourism economy the alternate marketing text tactics and prior planning and strategies can help us as a rich country a great way to demonstrate our rich cultural heritage and that's what i've been constantly talking about making use of all the marketing plans making use of our alternative marketing strategies and the thrust is on virtual reality and the thrust is on 
online mediums, the thrust is on the mobile technology and to see to it that we use all these things in a proper, effective, efficient manner so that our cultural heritage is also demonstrated, cultural awareness is also built up in such a manner and everything moves in a very positive, progressive manner so that the things uh, churn out in a very, very effective manner and we see to it that the people are able to demonstrate what our rich cultural heritage is. It's just not showcasing our rich cultural heritage but it's also about showcasing how uh, uh, how we can uh, uh, tell the world that where we are moving towards and how we can earn more and more revenue for our uh, for our uh, for our dm also so dear students this was our uh, topic thank you